Hi everyone, it's Adriana here and today I have a quick card. It's a quick Christmas card that I've created with some of the products that are available now from Couture Creations together with the hot foiling pen to create a really nice background for my Christmas card. The other uh, products that I've used is some heat activated foils and a couple of uh, different stencils from previous collections. I have listed all the products down below in my description of this video. Now stencils are a great way of putting in a beautiful imprint. I have this stencil here with the holly leaf one but I also have this one here from a, a previous collection it's still available from Couture Creations and in the middle of my card stock there I placed a die cut of a circle because I want the, the middle part of that card not to have any uh, shading from the stencil and any foiling I just want it to have it sort of blank so I created like a little bit of a mask with a piece of cardstock in circle there I've added my stencil here I'm just attaching it with some washi tape I suggest you work with the all-in-one magnetic artwork station um, I find that that's the best platform to use the hot foiling pen. So I'm cutting up some beautiful copper heat activated foil and I'm placing that on my mat here and ensuring that it's nice and flat before I start working with the hot foiling pen. The hot foiling pen is quite a unique um, tool in your crafting and you can use it lots and lots of different ways. At the end of this video I have another link on showing the features and some tips and tricks that you can use with the hot foiling pen. So with the stencil now, once the pen is quite hot, I'm using the very small nib on the end of that, remembering there's four different size nibs, and I'm just tracing through and lining out all the images of my stencil onto my cardstock. Because there is a centerpiece mask in there, of course that won't appear in the center that will only um, be a complete circle blank circle so just as you can see I'm making sure the pen is straight and I'm going very slowly around the edges of all the design from the stencil I've had a question here does the stencil melt with the foiling pen it will not melt the stencil is quite a firm and durable plastic. It's not a plastic like for wrapping up a shopping bag it's plastic. It's a very durable plastic. Also the nib is only hot at the end of the nib. It is quite hot around it but the temperature around it is not as intense as the actual point of that nib. So once I've done with that I have a beautiful image I'll just fast forward it there because you don't need to see me do the whole stencil and as you can see with the masking in the middle there it has transferred onto that mask but once you uh, lift that off you'll be a circle in there with no image but I'm not going to take that off before that I'm going to do some shading and I'm using Couture Creation brushes and also some Art Deco green, olive green and bronze uh, card deco pigment inks with the brushes from Couture Creations and as I said before I have listed down below all the products that I've used for this card in the description below The hot foiling pen has four different size nibs. Please check it out on the website of couturecreations.com.au. We have also some beautiful different colours of heat activated foils. There's so many in the collection. Have that look as that as well. I have a link of those list of supplies available at the end of this video or in the description below my video. So now I'm just using the olive green ink just to give a bit of colour over the stencil and then I'm just going to use a little bit of bronze you can see that beautiful colour coming through I'm going to use a little bit of the bronze just around the edges just to give it a bit of a sort of Christmassy feel to it 
just a little bit around the edges, not that much. Of course, you can use these brushes over and over again. You just need to clean them, just to use a piece of paper or paper towel and just go over it a few times and that will clean up the brushes quite good. So there you have the background. I'm going to remove the center and you'll notice that the center mask, there will be nothing in the center because that's being protected by a mask. But before I do that, I'm just going to use some of this gorgeous holographic red foil and just add a few dots around here and there with the foiling pen just to give it a little bit of extra Christmassy color. Red foil, gold foil seems to be the popular colors for Christmas themed projects. But I have seen some beautiful work with blue and silver combinations and green and gold combinations. But it's up to you. I really do prefer the red. I love the red for Christmas cards. And this holographic heat activated foil looks lovely as a background on cardstock. So I'm going to show you how I did that as well. So once I've done that, it's got a little bit of red foil now and that beautiful cop copper foil. Now to create a background of just foil that I'm going to use as a foiled background for my card, I'm just cutting a piece of the die cut and bond tape, it's a double sided tape, and placing that onto some cardstock. This is a wonderful technique of using foil to create a unique cardstock with the beautiful foiled and especially this red hologram or holographic design is really pretty. So I'm just placing a piece of that die cut and bond, I cut it around and then this is a trick to it make sure that you don't get any bubbles, is slowly peel away the piece of that uh, surface so it's nice and sticky and then just quickly rub over the foil. Now there may be some spots here that may not adhere and what you do is just slowly lift it up and then just rub it back down again to those places where the foil didn't adhere to the adhesive from the die cut and bond. This is a great way of using foil as creating a background and also uh, for cutting out die cuts but I'm going to show a different technique on how I did my die cut and foiled it with the go press foil machine so I've got lots of techniques in this video so there you have my piece of cardstock which I'm going to cut down to size that's the backing of my card I've mounted that onto some mirror board the foiling behind and now I'm going to show you a great technique of using die cuts now I've glued three individual die cuts and cut it out in white cardstock I've glued them with the all-purpose glue and now they adhere together so it's quite a thick piece now it almost looks like the same thickness of a chipboard I'm using a metal shim it's not the metal conversion plate that comes with the go press and foil machine it's just a metal shim that you use with your die cutting machine the thin one I'm cutting a piece of the heat activated foil this gorgeous red hologram one and then I'm placing the die cut back to front because you want the cut the foil to adhere to the front side not the back side of that cut out word. I'm placing a piece of A4 paper and because the thickness of that die cut isn't that big or that thickness isn't that thick we need to put some extra shims and I've just got a piece of cardstock that I'm going to put on top of that and let that heat through. Once that's heated through I'm going to release that platform from the base and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. I'm using the Go Power and Emboss machine. You can use the, the, the cut and emboss machine. Any die cutting machine will work. And once that's done, I'm going to show you that all that foil has actually transferred onto that piece of die cut which I cut three pieces of and glued together. And now I have a beautiful foiled word saying Merry Christmas that I can attach to my card. So that's another technique of using the Go Press foil machine with heat activated foil and die cuts, cutting out some die cuts and adding them together to create a layered effect. Now the word there from all of us comes from the hot foil stamp from the new collection of Elegance 
collection check that out in the description below I have a, a link of that as well that's a really nice foiled image with the word sentiments from all of us Merry Christmas the background you can see with the hologram in red foil and then the beautiful background that I've done with the outline with the hot foil pen and coloured in with stencils. Very simple card, great techniques. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more ideas with any of our products, please visit couturecreations.com.au. I've also created a second card here using the same background using the stencil and just added the word sentiment exactly the same way but also adding the word sweet friend it's from the elegance collection of hot foil stamps that are available now in November 22 so thank you for joining me if you like this video please give a big like please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now